If you clicked on this video, then maybe you're looking at getting yourself a new radio or you're just curious or interested in tech and safety. Our radio last year started to let us down. This first happened when we were crossing Biscayne. We had to call a pan pan and this was our first and still today our largest passage yet. The problem was that the ship's radio, they could hear us, but we really struggled to hear them. The volume was so quiet and we've checked other things, we've tried external speakers and this is a problem that has actually persisted. On top of this, it's a very old unit that is starting to deteriorate in other ways as well. We decided that we needed to replace it with something newer and a bit more reliable. We've done some research and the things that we were looking for out of a radio, such as reliability and some of the key features and things that we would like from a safety point of view, we kept finding that standard Horizon kept coming out on top of our pick. But before we bit the bullet and bought one ourselves, we got chatting to the team at Standard Horizon, was picking their brain, and turns out they were really happy to sponsor us with some new gear, which was absolutely awesome. They just asked that we test it out, show you guys what we think, and give our honest feedback and thoughts. So first of all, we're gonna show you what we have, do an unboxing, and then we'll get onto the installation. So here is everything that Standard Horizon sent to us. So we'll run through what everything is and why this is what we wanted. They also sent us a lovely little note which said, to Dryden Bruin, good luck on the next leg of your adventure. All the best from all the Standard Horizon team, which is really sweet. Thank so you guys. guys. Start with this is the main ship's radio. This is the Standard Horizon GX2400 GPS. Wireless RAM radio, the RAM 4X with a wireless unit and a loud hailer. Let's start unboxing some of this stuff. As we unbox this unit, we're actually gonna to talk to you about some of the features as to why we really wanted this unit. The first one being that it has AIS. This AIS isn't the one that transmits and receives, it only receives, but that's also really handy, especially for those people that don't have AIS on the boat. This is something that will give you extra protection whilst out at sea. This is what the inside looks like. Um, I actually took out the manual uh, a little bit of time ago, so if you pass me the manual, this is the size of the manual that you get with it. And nice and detailed. Extremely detailed. There are so many features and we aren't going to cover absolutely all of them because as you can see, we'd be here for a very long time. But if you do end up getting this unit, give it a read. And I actually find that Standard Horizon do always send good manuals with all of their products because we do have their handheld radio as well. Also, we didn't notice until we uh, got the package, but there's also a three year warranty with this, which is really helpful. Yeah, yeah, and that covers like water damage yeah. and stuff like that. So that was, it's a massive plus as well. Okay, so this is the main unit. If I just move this over to the side. Pan, 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 pan. <laughs> This is your talisman. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to do that again. As I say, like some of the main features that we wanted to use this radio for was the fact that it had AIS built into it so that we could have a backup AIS, say if anything happened to our main systems. But also it's got an internal GPS, so it doesn't need an antenna that's like outside the boat. You can get an external uh, GPS if your boat, say, is a metal hull and the, there's interference and you can't get a strong enough signal from inside. So you get this bracket here, which that's your standard radio bracket. So that just goes on. You can mount it upside down or um, horizontally or hanging. Um, and also you get um, a flush mount which basically you can see this would look really, really smart if it was flush mounted. Unfortunately, I don't think we're able to do that. We haven't got yeah. a place to put it like that as much as I would like it. But yeah, the flush mount I can imagine would look really, really smart. These can also be put outside in the cockpit. So, cause they have got this IPX8 water rating as well. So that's something else that might be of interest to some people. When it comes to navigating via the radio, it's quite rudimentary because of this screen but it's actually really, really intuitive. So I believe we haven't actually switched this unit or used it yet, but on the screen, I think there's like a compass rose. So you've got north, south, east, west, and then wherever you've set your waypoints, so you put in the coordinates where you want to go to, and then you'll get a dot on this little compass screen. So you can change your heading. When the heading turns and matches the dot, that's when you know where you're going. And the extra thing that I'm actually really, really impressed with, and one of the other key, key reasons we wanted to get this is so that we can plug it into our NEMA backbone. So it's compatible with NMEA 2K and 0183. Um, so if you have an older 
setup you're still using the uh, 0183 signaling this is still compatible I really like how durable like the cables are and these little cable guards these are to stop it bending and like ending up with cracking because that's pretty much what happened with our older unit but this is actually quite quite a nice fit so let's have a look what's in this little bag of goodies we haven't opened this up yet so this is the power cable by the looks of it and this also looks like a cable so this is a data cable this is what you can you can plug this radio into your computer so um, I'm not 100% sure on all the features that you get with it but I'm sure you can do things like updates um, and actually I think you can basically back up any logs you have off your radio onto a computer uh, which is quite impressive I wasn't expecting to be able to connect a radio to a laptop one of the things that we really really liked is that you can have an optional wired or wireless uh, extra radio that's mounted in your cockpit or maybe at the mast, wherever you choose, but you can have an extra radio unit with this device. So with that being said, let's unbox the remote access microphone that um, Standard Horizon sent us as well. So this is the wireless remote access microphone. I'm just going to call it the second radio. Yeah, this uh, is something <laughs> we were really excited about actually. Yeah. It comes in two parts, you have to buy these two things separately unless you buy the wired version of this in which case you just need the wired version of this so in this box is the SCU30 which is the access point for a wireless radio so you can connect I think up to four of these radios uh, via one of these to a main ship's radio so I'll just show you what it looks like it's quite straightforward this thing yep plug and play this is so cool. Yeah. That's a nice long wire. Yeah, that's a really good long long cable. And it actually comes with a little mount as well. Yeah. So this can be mounted outside on a rail or you can mount it inside. As long as it's got um, a strong enough signal. Uh, on a fiberglass boat like ours, I think we could pretty much get away with mounting this anywhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice long cable. But you do need one of these to use a wireless remote access microphone and um three year warranty even with the remote access microphone which is pretty cool yep um and for the features for this there's some really cool things actually isn't there though so for example it has a water activated emergency strobe light which i think is pretty cool and it's also floating and submersible waterproof rated to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes so if we drop it or if i drop it <laughs> we've got a bit of time to recover it yeah <laughs> One of the things that's really, really good and really smart about this unit is that you get all the functionality yeah. of the main ship's radio. So you can use it to have the waypoint navigation, to use it as a GPS compass. It's got the screen that basically mirrors what you would have on your main ship's radio on the GX2400. Um, you can have your AIS targets displayed on here. It's just really, really smart and has everything like they haven't held back on features for something that is at like a secondary unit literally been packed with from what i can see everything you would get on the main unit let's so have let's a look have a look yeah nice easy manual i've already had a look uh, through this manual as well Bryn loves the manual i do that is so cool so you can see obviously it's a nice nice big screen what some people might get confused with is this is not a radio itself so there's no antenna so if you look at the handheld wireless radios uh, they have a big antenna and a battery on the back this has got a rechargeable battery i think it lasts about 15 hours it's just usb charged yeah it? just usb yeah. charged little charger on the side with a nice waterproof gate on it one of the things that we were curious about as well is you can obviously hit a man overboard button um, if something was to happen and because it's wireless if you had this on you and it's got an IPX8 water rating um, you could potentially hit your own man overboard yeah that's what I was wondering like I guess it kind of works as another backup doesn't it if you're on watch on your own in the cockpit something happens press the man overboard it's going to alert the ship's radio and also just put out a distress signal isn't it and it's got the strobe light and it's got so a strobe that's gonna light. make it visible yeah <laughs> so we do use a handheld radio in the cockpit um but obviously the range isn't as good on it like the what you get with this is the range of a main ship's radio all right let's 
put all this back and get to the last the last little bit so the last bit to talk about is something we didn't even know that they were sending us this standard horizon they yep. just um snuck it in and it's a pretty cool surprise actually because it's not something we'd even thought about before but it's going to be really really useful and added safety benefit for any of you that have watched our channel you'll know that last year we sailed through quite a lot of fog oh we love sailing in fog we do it all the time <laughs> it's like our favorite condition to sail in <laughs> so obviously when sailing in fog AIS is very, very helpful, only if the other ships have AIS. Uh, a radar is very helpful, but it won't pick up absolutely everything. So I guess the last thing that you should be doing is a fog horn. Being able to uh, communicate with another vessel without... Because yeah. obviously when you're trying to shout across the sea, um, it's really, really difficult. Whereas with this, it's just used as an intercom. Yeah. And you can basically just say your message through this uh, so you know that you, the other people are getting a clear message of what's going on. just makes communication that little bit easier. So if we open it up. I suppose especially if you're ever being rescued or rescuing somebody. Yeah, because you I imagine can, that's really helpful. You can contact the other vessel. Like Sometimes a hand signal might mm. help, but being able to just make it nice and clear yeah. that if you was in a situation where there's another vessel... And Maybe it doesn't have radio. We've we've seen this yeah. actually on other um, sailing vessels. They've rescued somebody that doesn't even have a handheld VHF. Yeah. So then they can kind of like say over the speaker what they want them to do and things like that. It's very very useful. We're very mm. grateful. We're not one hundred percent on where we're going to be mounting this at the minute. But as we figure it out, we'll explain to you our choices. A lot of people do mount them on the mast, but we don't think we're going to mount ours on the mast. We're actually thinking of somewhere on deck. Well, the good thing is, even in the instructions, it just says, um, use the bracket as a template, drill three starter holes into a flat surface. So it's really simple. Yeah, and that could be any flat that could surface. Be a, a, yeah, any flat surface. Just away from you, away from the cockpit. <laughs> so Obviously, with this paired with the GX2400, there's a lot of functionality, because the GX2400 has a lot of, like... Uh, fog, fog alarms, fog whistles, yeah. and different it's got things. Like separate for, modes, hasn't it? Like yeah, fog mode and... different modes um, and a type of listener, which we're actually not sure about ourselves yet. So we're looking forward to playing and testing all this stuff out. Um, but having one of these unlocks more potential from that radio unit, which we're looking forward to doing. Yeah. So Standard Horizon. The reason why we chose them is that they make some of the best equipment on the market for marine radios. Um, from wireless radios, handheld radios, uh, ships radios and some other accessories and equipment. They make genuinely some of the best equipment. One of the things we found uh, whilst reaching out is that their customer support is amazing. We actually did a little bit of research before this as well and like you can easily go onto a forum, type in uh, a product or a brand and see what support networks they have already in place. We found that Standard Horizon had such good reviews and that's why we contacted them essentially. We asked them loads of questions, picked their brain. Well, I say we, Bryn picked their brain on all the little tech <laughs> details that he loves, all the little specifications. They spoke to us for ages, just giving us all the details and then um, obviously when they agreed to send us something out, we were really grateful. They were happy to have the feedback to yeah. see if they could improve. So we're actually looking forward to testing all this out. So that's it for this video, uh, but what we're going to do in a part two is the whole installation. So we'll show you guys whether it's easy to install and hopefully you'll learn something if you're getting a similar product as well. If you guys have any questions at all about this radio and um, what to look for in buying a radio, obviously feel free to check out Standard Horizon. We'll link all their information in the description below or drop us a comment and we'll help wherever we can as well. If you found this really helpful and useful, please hit the subscribe button, drop a like and yeah. Hopefully we'll see you next time for the installation. Thank you so much again to Standard Horizon and thank you so much to everyone that's watched, subscribed, liked our videos, all that. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.